Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It's Wednesday, February 16th. Currently 23 degrees. It's going up to 48 today. Nice and sunny. So today, I'm smoking my Viprati Canted Egg Oval Shank. It's got like a tortoise uh, acrylic stem. Just a real cool, unique pipe. Love it. Super comfortable in the mouth, it's just a really good pipe. I got this at the Tinderbox in uh, Aberford, PA, years ago. So today I'm smoking Sutliff Match Country Doctor, which I believe was the, the, I think the original one was House of Windsor, was the brand maybe. Um, it's classified as an American blend. It's kind of got everything. It's got Burley, Latakia, Perique, Virginia, and I think some Cavendish. It's a total kitchen sink blend. And this has, like, I'm not a Latakia fan really anymore, but it's got enough of it. It has just a little bit enough, a little bit enough, just, just enough of it to where um, it gives the, the blend a little bit of smokiness, just a, just a, a tinge of it. Um, but, it, it, you know, if you didn't, honestly, it's, it's almost to the point where if you didn't know that it had Puri, or if it, you didn't know if it had Latakia in it, um, you wouldn't even really taste it. But it uh, it has a uh, oddly enough, it, it kind of has like a Frog Morton type of flavor to it. Um, with like the Latakia and then the sweetness. It's, it's it's basically like one of the first crossovers, I would say, you know? But it's got that, that type of flavor. Now, by no stretch of the imagination, it's just anywhere close to Fog Morton, but, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But what I'm saying is it has that kind of like upfront sweetness with a little bit of the smoky, you know, background. That's the first thing that, that came to mind. I don't know how popular this was back then, but I'm kind of surprised that. Uh, it went away because it's it's really good. And that's coming from somebody who doesn't really care for light key at all. But those American blends, when they have just enough the Perique, a little bit of like sweetness in there, the Perique sweetness. That's good. really smooth, real, you know, really easy, it's not like goopy, it's a little bit, it's a little moist in the, in the jar, more than the other, like, 
because um, it's kind of like a rough cut and then it's got some like ribbon cut and it's kind of like a hodgepodge mix man traffic is brutal today Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this. Um, <clears throat> I just got an email earlier this morning that uh, I think it's 15% off, 10 or 15% off um, site-wide on smokingpipes.com for IPSD, which is uh, Sunday, I believe. Yeah. So if you're looking to uh, save some money, yeah, there's some deals to be had <clears throat> on SmokyPipes.com. So I uh, I really have to give a big shout out. Um, To, I don't know if, if his name's Sheldon Shock. Um, S, I think it's Shock. I, I took a picture of it. So I came into work. I was off Monday. I came into work yesterday. And my manager's like, hey, there's a package there for you. So I'm like, huh? He's like, oh, you got a package. He's like, it's probably, you know, some some cigars or something. And I was like, uh, I didn't order any cigars. And I definitely wouldn't have them shipped here. So I opened it up. And sure enough, um, one of my subscribers, <clears throat> and I gotta go through and, and um, find who it is and personally thank him, um, I, uh, I, the handwriting on the, on the little note that he wrote, I, it looks like it was, it says Sheldon, but I could be, could be wrong about that, I just said S, I think it was S Shock, um, and uh, he sent me some of my favorite blends. So he sent me three Oliva Master Series, three um, Robustos, phenomenal cigar, one of my all-time favorites. He sent me um, three um, Oliva Series V Melanias. I had one last night. Just an amazing cigar. I mean, if you smoke cigars, you know the Melania is just top tier. Uh, three of the CAO Brasilias, which is another really good, um, probably my favorite CAO cigar. And um, three of the La Roma de Cuba uh, Mi Amore, which, I mean, 12 amazing cigars. Like, all of them are awesome. Um, I was just so taken back. It's such a such a great and, and awesome gesture. Um, he was like, I hope you find something in here you like. And I was like, I love all of these. Like, you couldn't have picked out, you know, four different cigars that, that I love. I mean, every single one of them I love more than the next. It's... It, just, just thank you so much. I, I, I'm going to get you back. Trust me. Um, I just want to know, obviously you're a pipe smoker. So, you know, comment in the section, you know, in the comment section, let me know who you are. Let me know what you like. Cause I have, um, I have, Oh, I definitely want to reciprocate. I have, uh, I have all kinds of blends. I have hard to find blends. I have some, some cool stuff. So, um, rather than me send you stuff that I, th that, you know, I think you might like, I'd rather, you know, are you a vapor guy, a Virginia guy, are you a burly guy, I don't have a lot of burlies, but, um, I have some good stuff, so I would love to, to return the favor, and thank you so much, um, it's just awesome, and, um, now, so, you know, I have those sticks at work, in my travel humidor 
So now I, I always have some solid sticks. I'll probably bring some of them home because I'm not going to smoke half of them at work. But master and and the uh, the master blend three, master blenders three. That that's around here. That's kind of a tough cigar to get. It, it, you know, not that it's a like rare, but a lot of shops for some reason don't carry them. Um, like by the stick, you have to either buy like the Wooden Indian has a um, has like this uh, it's a sampler of just different sizes. Um, I finally found two of them this past weekend. I had to drive. I was up at that Sun's Cigar Lounge. And um, I found a couple, but they're one of my favorite cigars. They're so good. And uh, none of the local shops around here carry them. So that was a huge, I was super excited when I saw them. But. Excuse me. I, I think it's Sheldon. I could be wrong about that. Um, but definitely... Let me know. And again, thank you so much. Um, but anyway, yeah, back to this blend. Give it a shot. It's uh, it's a really good like crossover blend. Uh, I I would assume it was one of the first crossovers. I don't know how old the blend is when it was originally produced, but um, it definitely has that kind of like Frogmorton cellar ish type of um, taste to it with the. Uh, Kind of like a aromatic English. Really good. And I completely forgot about this blend. I, I had no, I, I didn't even recall what it was. Or and when I cracked the tin, I couldn't smell Latakia. Like I, like I, you could kind of smell Perique, like a little bit of that like musty Perique smell. Um. I looked it up, I was like, yeah, it's got a lot of key in it. I'm like, yeah, you know, it doesn't smell like it's got a lot of key in it. So, yeah, it was, uh, it's good stuff. But anyway, guys, that's all I really got for you today. Um, trying to think cigar-wise what I had yesterday. I finally started to get my, like, my taste back yesterday. I have it back full today. I was able to taste the uh, San Latano, Connecticut that I that I smoked this morning. Um, what did I smoke? I smoked the Jaime Garcia, which is one of my all-time favorite. It's a, such a bargain stick, Connecticut Broadleaf from my father. Um. smoke after that I can't even remember I cannot remember what I smoked <laughs> but anyway um, yeah you guys have a great day I hope you guys are having a good week I uh, oh you guys got a bonus video because I just posted my video without switching accounts to the New Age Pipe Smokers until I realized it like late in the day. So I posted it on my main page um, and then I posted it on the New Age Pipe Smokers page um, later on that day, yesterday. So you get an extra one. And then, you know, if you're subscribed to both, you got to see my ugly mug twice, which I apologize for. But I didn't want to go without posting it, so. Um, I will see you guys on Nap's page tomorrow. Everybody has a great day. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.